it's an interesting allusion to the combination of revelation and critical thinking that actually makes up actual thinking, right? Because the problem with being concerned with a vast plethora of ideas is that many ideas are misleading and wrong. And so you have to learn how to combine that openness and curiosity with the capacity to separate the wheat from the chaff. And that's the utility of skepticism. I mean, it can degenerate into a kind of argumentative nihilism. That's the downside. But properly applied, it, it, uh, it separates the wheat from the chaff, right? And the purpose of that is to keep the wheat. Well, skepticism can only ever be essentially destructive because you're being skeptical of something. Somebody's putting something forward and you're sort of responding to that with skepticism. And so for a lot of people, if, if skepticism is the thing that you do, then you sort yeah. of end up chipping away and ending up with nothing, whereas skepticism is really supposed to be a tool that you use. It, it is destructive, but in the way that you might sort of um, carve a piece of marble. Yeah, right. You're intending to get yes. a statue out of it. At the yes, end. yes. Well, that's the thing to always keep in mind is yeah. skepticism in the service of something. Exactly. Yeah, it's a right. tool. It's a methodological right. tool. It's well, not a world. And you, 